All right, Chinese spacecraft becomes the first ever to touch down on the dark side of the moon as it transmits never before seen close range images after making historic landing. So I covered this on a show last week. The Chinese spacecraft Chang 4 were supposed to be the first ones out of everybody on the planet uh -huh. to land on the dark side of the moon. And uh, I, I believed it just as much as anything. They sent this up there to carry out mineral and radiation tests, presenting scientists with the first ever chance to examine minerals from the far side of the moon. The far side of the moon, uh, known as the dark side of the moon, actually gets as much light as the near side, but always faces away from the Earth. This is because the moon is tidally locked to the Earth, rotating at the same orbit as our other planets, so the fars, yeah. So they say it's tidally locked. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know if I believe that either. But anyway, folks, here's the images. S uh, s <laughs> supposedly, but uh, I want to know where the the moon bases are. Look at this photo, folks. I had to bring this up. This is like look closely. You got these two solar. Actually, these might be the track drops. It almost look like they're so like cruddy quality, and this, the moon itself looks a little bit better than those, and that's actually closer. So why is that better quality than the actual moon surface? Um, look up here at the landscape. I'm gonna make the mouse bigger so you can see where I'm pointing for those who are looking on the video here. There's a slight green if you really look at it. So were they, did that? Was this against a back? green screen drop did they come through with a brush and cut this side off you know you can make the argument why aren't we seeing stars but if they're exposing for the, the light on their their lander you might not see those stars of course so again nothing mind-blowing folks this is one of the first ever close-up images taken of the dark side of the moon which never faces towards earth this region is vastly unexplored and unknown to scientists compared to the side of the moon we can see and have visited with the apollo and subsequent nasa missions yeah right there's bases back there you guys got everything back there this is the first steps to get the public acclimated to all right we're on the dark side we're going to build a base over there first because we found these minerals because that's what they're going up there looking for minerals oh the minerals are better on the back side of the moon so we built the base over there and then when we start getting the public going up there, boom, easy transition. Now here on screen is a little diagram of the landings where China is and the U.S. It's, uh, yeah. And then I wanted to read this last thing here. The crater, they're going to, so they're going to explore this crater. The crater is believed to be composed of various chemical compounds, including thorium, iron oxide, and I can't read the last one, but that's, Yep, that's where they're pushing the narrative of we're landing over there to look at stuff that's valuable for mining or whatever they need, and they can build a base and be self-sustaining. And then another thing they push, well, there's a picture of the the lander. Again, looks like a tinker toy. Got the uh, gold foil out of the cupboard, and then they put some little things on there, some little antenna rays, uh, some nice little... Uh, what are those? Coasters? Coasters for your cups for the bottoms down here. Very, very nice. They went all out on this one. Uh-huh. But that's what they do. And again, the wheels, no tread, just some nice little, uh, I'm sure that'll get around real fine. This article here, so here's the, the, uh, the rover coming off. So now we got the the tracks that are down to get it off the lander, making some tracks going down. Oh, look at that. That almost looks like that's photoshopped in because of the way it turned. It made a hard turn there at the end, unless it's driving sideways. I don't know about that. Well, we'll see. And, yeah, right here. So they took with it tin holding silkworm eggs as well as seeds of a variety of plant species, including potatoes. They want to see how these grow up there again so they can say, oh, we can sustain life up there. Look at folks. 
I'll be interested to see how the potato thing works. But, uh, you know, even if you had to build a dome or whatever to grow that stuff, I mean, that's not out of reach at all. Not at all. And I was looking at the old clips the other day about the, you know, reminiscent about Ron Paul. He had his good campaign. This was from 2012. I'm going to show this clip here. This, the public was not ready for a man like this to be in the White House. I mean, he wasn't as hardcore as Trump, like calling people out, but he would have been more of the presidential people. That's why the news, they ignored him. When he would be in, I believe it was second in the, the exit polls and stuff, they would say who got first, skip him in second, and then just go to the third place person. This is just tactics. But Ron Paul here, I got a clip of him talking about how space, this is back in 2012, how space should be privatized. I thought it was very key to bring this up for people to hear. But I also don't like the idea of building government business partnerships. If we had a healthy economy and had more Bill Gates's and more Warren Buffett's, uh, the money the money would be there. It should be privatized. And the people who work in the industry, if you had that, there would be jobs in aerospace. And I, I just think that uh, uh, we don't need a bigger and newer program when you think of the people. I mean, health care or something else deserves a lot more priority than going to the moon. Uh, so I, I would be very reluctant. But space technology... Uh, should be followed up to some degree for national defense purposes, but not just for for the fun of it, and you know for improve, you know for scientific. He called it back then, folks. 2012. Have they have the private industry do it? It's exactly what's happening. You got NASA coming out saying we're going to use private industry to take our stuff to the moon. Well, there we go. He called it then. So I just thought it was cool to bring that clip up. It just struck me as wow. He he actually knew what was going on president we should have had.